Hey guys, it's Laurie from Cook Scrub Craft. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing another scrapbook process video for you today. This one is using the Authentique um, like School Days collection. I don't think that's exactly what it's called, but it's from Authentique and the whole, there it is. The whole collection is called Scholastic. Thank you, me, for showing that branding strip. Um, so it's all school-based stuff. Uh, you can see that paper there is navy blue with some little flowers on it. So that's just kind of a nice accent paper. But um, most of the paper has to do with school, little kids playing outside. Um, it's a really, really cute collection, and I actually got it for free. Well, not for free, but I got it at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo last August. I was part of the one of the collections they were giving away in their latest and greatest class. So I think I had seen a layout. I can't remember if it was like a page map sketch or from some other uh, sketch blog, but um, I had seen it and pinned it to my Pinterest scrapbook cards layout or Pinterest board and I kind of took a brief look at it before I started working and just said okay so I, I have the the idea in my mind and then I'm just kind of kind of going to kind of play around with it um, without looking at the sketch so that I can you know sort of make it my own so basically there was um, the pattern paper in the back and I've got that uh, thicker strip going down behind the photo and that is a photo of my daughter on her last day of preschool last year technically her preschool is a daycare so she doesn't really have a last day because she's kind of always there except for the month of August because my husband's a teacher and he's off fully that month so she just gets to stay home with him so so you know end of July is her last day and then uh, in September she starts up and she was starting up a new class in uh, the last September so anyway so that's last year's that's 20 where are we now? 2020s? That's 2019's last day of preschool one. So then with the photo, there's also a thinner strip of apples that I put behind there. And I didn't have it go all the way across the page. Kind of like, um, you can see part of it's falling off the page. I'm going to cut that uh, once I get everything kind of glued down. But I kind of like when stuff is sort of not center, not, um, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. Hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. I just kind of like it when things look like they're they're there they're uh, and you know uh, I'm just taught I don't know I'm having diarrhea of the mouth right now but hopefully you understand what I'm talking about I'm gonna stop talking about it so now I'm just cutting up some other random pattern paper strips from that collection and I had already used this paper collection before so I had some leftover bits and pieces and I used those smaller scraps to make even smaller paper strips and it's a good way to get more of the pattern paper from the collection into this layout instead of just having you know a couple you know, three pieces of pattern paper or something uh, which is what I would have had so I really like that. And then um, I glued everything down, <clears throat> excuse me, and I didn't make you watch that. So now I'm just feeling like I need to cut down the photo a little bit because there's a lot of like space around my daughter that's just not really necessary. I could, I could trim it up a little bit, so I'm gonna cut it down. And I really liked these cut-aparts that were part of the collection. Now, the word says something about homework there. She doesn't have homework. She's in preschool. So I'm going to use that as a frame for my photo and just, you know, make the photo pop just a little bit more. Again, especially against that navy blue um, that we have there. So unfortunately, you will get to watch me glue this down. I'm using my American Crafts double-sided tape that I purchased at scrapbook.com and I'm really loving it. I'm kind of thinking of switching to that going forward as opposed to using the double-sided squares that I that I usually do because I like that you can just sort of pick and choose, you know, peel off however much you want. It's not a standard size. If you need something longer, you can pull off something longer. Um, and it's very, 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 very permanent, which is kind of nice. I feel like my stuff is really secure. I was using red tape on my December Daily album because that's a chipboard album and things are kind of loose and out there. They're not secured behind page protectors. And then I ran out of the red tape, so I started using this tape and it's uh, it's really, really good. So I, I feel confident that my December Daily album is not going to fall apart. All the layouts aren't going to fall apart. So part of the paper strips, um, um, I'm adding in some word or uh, some phrases. So the last day of school was actually a sticker from the sticker uh, page that came with the collection. And then the notable moments piece was another piece, was another cut apart from a different cut apart sheet, which was really um, kind of nice because there's a notable moment. It's our last day of preschool. It's, you know, 
she's holding her little apple sign, telling us what she liked, what her favorite part of the school, what her favorite part of the school year was, what she enjoyed learning, and then you get the teacher's name in there, which is um, which is cool. And I'm just realizing that before I had that um, navy blue and white paper, I had it go over the photo frame, which I like. And then when I went to glue it down, I put it underneath the photo frame, which is fine. But I'm actually I'm kind of thinking like I liked it over the photo frame better. Oh well. Now this circle piece that you would see me uh, patiently cutting out all the little holes that were supposed to be part of, supposed to be punched out. That is actually not from this collection. That is very, very, very old October afternoon. But um, I had a whole package of those little circle embellishments and they seem to kind of go with this collection. So that one has some trees on it, which reminded me of apple trees. The color scheme isn't exactly great, but I liked it as um, an embellishment that I could pop up and just have something to put over there. Um, yeah, so I like it. And you know, apple trees, apples for school. I've got the little AS for apple sticker frame down there that I put. Um, so it, it all kind of makes sense. So now I'm going to add something down into the bottom corner because I just feel like um, it's very top heavy and I just want a little, little bit peeking out there down at the bottom. So I'm taking a ruler, which is not to scale <laughs> as I was finding, trying to measure it and cut it. I was like, oh wait, this is not actually three inches. This is, this is, a, it's like a fake ruler or some, uh, unless it really is in my measure, my measurements are off, but, um, yeah, it, I don't think it was. So I just added a little bit of the ruler there and now I'm going to add a little tag so that I can put the date of when this was. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I don't do any journaling. You can tell from the photo what it is because the big apple that my daughter's holding says last day of school. Um, so I just wanted to record the date. And actually, something else that I ended up doing right after I made this layout was I used the same collection to scrapbook her preschool class photo. I had put it in a picture frame and then when we got this year's class photo, I switched them. And then I went, oh my gosh, I didn't save space in my scrapbook album from 2000. I guess that photo would have been taken in 2018. So the 2018 scrapbook, I didn't have space for a layout about her cl her class photo. So what I'm going to do, um, I used the same collection to get that class photo scrapped. And I'm just going to put it right before this one. I don't think it really matters that it's out of order. It's still her class photo from that year. And then it kind of makes sense to just kind of like show a, just, a juxtaposition right next to this last day of school photo and then the first day of school photo, how she changed throughout the year. She got glasses, she grew a little bit. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it'll be all right. I tend to be a very uh, chronological scrapbooker, especially sometimes when I'm doing when I'm scrapping the photos, I like to print photos out in order. I've started to get away from that, actually. Um, but yeah, I don't know about how you guys like to scrap, but I like to scrap in chronological order. So for ha having something out of order for me is a little crazy. But anyway, so this is the this is the finished layout with some thickers as the title. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.